Hello, welcome to today's class. Today we have this question before us here. x to the power of x or to the power of 4 equal to 64. What is the value of x to this challenge here? So here we take our solution. All right, so the question, we want to rewrite the right-hand side of the equation. So we have an x to the power of x or to the power of 4 equal to 64 can be written as 8 to the power of 2. Okay? So 8 times 8 will give us 64, right? Now see what we have on the board. We are having x to the power of x here. And here, can we bring out 8 at the exponent here? Yes. If we multiply the power here by 4, it will give us 8. So we can equally do the same to this other side. So from here, let's raise both sides of the equation to the power of 4. So raise this to power 4. Then this now we we'll only raise this to power four. Okay, all right. So, but remember the law which says that if you have your a to the power of m n, this is equal to your a to the power of m in bracket n, and we can change this exponent to give us a to the power of n bracket m. Okay, so if you suck up to this rule here, yeah, the law of indices. Now look at this. This is the power inside, this is the power outside. So we can use this to multiply this, we use this to multiply this. And so it's going to give us x to the power of 4, x to the power of 4. This is equal to 8 to the power of 8, because 2 times 4 will give us 8 here. Okay? Again, this is a very simple one. You just to apply your simple laws in indices. Again, now if you watch carefully, you now discover that we are having x to the power of 4x or to the power of 4, right? Good. We can separate this guy out here, like we have in this case here now, right? So what we do, we can rewrite this side of the equation. And so this will give us x to the power of 4 in bracket or to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 8 or to the power of 8. Now check it out here. So we are having this number to its own self, raised to its own self, and this number raised to its own self. So what does that imply? It means that the x to the power of 4 is equal to 8. Okay? So let's write that as we're going to have here x to the power of 4 is equal to our 8 here. We are looking for x. So we take the fourth root of both sides of the equation. Let's continue on this side. Taking the fourth root of both sides, we're going to have this to be x to the power of 4. Fourth root is equal to, we have our fourth root of our 8. Also, at this point, we introduce our plus minus here. Okay? So this will go with this. Now our x is equal to plus minus our 8 all to the power of 1 all over 4. Easy. But we can rewrite it as 2 to the power of 3. So let's go ahead and rewrite it. This will give us here plus minus our 2 to the power of 3. Here we have a power here already. So in bracket, 1 all over 4. Four please. Now, according to the law we just look at, which is the um, power law of indices, okay, we can multiply this by this. So we now have, therefore, our x equal to plus minus 2, this time this will give us 3 all over 4. So this is the value of our x satisfy the original equation. Okay? Alright, so we have the positive of it, and we have the negative of it, with x1 and x2. Alright, this is a simple one, so this brings us to the end of this challenge. Thanks for being there. Keep watching online mass TV. See you in our next video. Bye. Now.